Uh, we want to bring in right now three-time NBA All-Star, former NBA champ, most outstanding player from the 1999 yeah. Final Four, Richard Hamilton. Rip, thanks for joining me. We appreciate it. How you feeling? Big win for your Huskies last night. Oh, man, I feel awesome. <laughs> I feel great. I feel like I play in the game. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm excited for the state of Connecticut. I'm excited for KO, and I'm excited for all the kids. Man, it was a great time. Now, Rip, be honest with me. You were there last night, okay? I know you're filling out your bracket. You got UConn as a seven seed. Are you, were you a homer? How far did you have UConn going in your bracket? All the way. Oh, I really? Mean, we, 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 we live and die UConn basketball. And that's, that's it? You, still, you, I mean, uh, every year, Rip, you, fill out, you, 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 you take UConn all the way, so you have them I this always, year, huh? I'll, I always tell people, certain colleges and certain universities, they, they win games, but Connecticut, we win championships. We showed it last night. Yeah, you certainly <laughs> did. Now, what does UConn's win last night mean for the program moving forward? Of course, the guys had to deal with that one-year ban, but certainly bouncing back in a strong way under Kevin Ollie. What does this mean for the program moving forward? Well, it's great for the program. It, it shows that uh, there's actually a new chapter. You know, in the book with uh, K.O. taking over, you know, the legacy of uh, Coach Calhoun, you know, which was a tough job, you know. But the great thing that, that K.O. has is he always has Calhoun in his corner and helping him, mentoring him during the ups and downs of uh, a, a college season. And uh, we feel confident. You know, the guys feel confident. The alumni feels confident. We feel as though, uh, you know, this is one of many for K.O. You know, Reb, I can't believe it. It's been 15 years. 15 years ago, you were the most outstanding player in the 1999 Final Four. This year, that award goes to Shabazz Napier. What do you see in Shabazz that makes him such a dynamic player to watch? Well, like I said, uh, Shabazz is, is, is awesome. I mean, uh, what he brings to the team is he brings so many great intangibles. I mean, he's great at, you know, scoring. He's great at getting guys involved uh in the game uh, by passing and dishing off to the big to big fellas and getting other guards, you know, involved in the game. But the thing that I was most impressed with him was his leadership role uh, and just watching him grow from, you know, his freshman year playing with Kimba and Jeremy Lane and being a guy that was a little under the radar but still wanted the ball in big-time moments. And now the kid getting the opportunity to put the team on his shoulders and, and carrying us through a great run and getting us another uh, national championship. Yeah, uh, he was fun to watch. Now, before we let you go, what's up with you and Drake? Drizzy Drake in that photo that's been making the rounds here. First of all, Drake is sitting there in his U in his uh, Kentucky gear. Was this taken before the game? I I'd assume. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's funny because we came to the game together. We we, we come right in, and we we're getting our tickets and everything. We're about to go in the game, and I'm like, like, dude, what are you doing with a Kentucky blue, you know, shirt on. But he's with my Uncle West, so I know they're going from Kentucky. And I'm telling him the whole time that, you know, they're going down. You know, there's no way they can beat, you know, UConn. You know, he's like, oh, UConn, they, they can't beat Kentucky, and we're going back and forth, back and forth. So actually, that was before and not after the game. But he owes me.